the best thing And I missed it Because I didn't have the guts to say what I meant I've got to rain when I'm Ooh, okay. Time to play. Microsoft Game Studio. I need to turn the game up a bit. But this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, the beginning of the dream. Following a typical nightmare account, I was awake, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. They put me in jail, and I would never see Alice again. <laughs> Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode 1. First things first, let's up the other one. Try that. Nope, that's fine.
It's probably going to be like 10 times louder now. Or not. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so LB to sprint. Run, 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 run. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay, yep, yeah, that's better. There is a the bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Have I already got it? Uh No. Oh. That was a coffee. Uh guess I did it on a previous playthrough then. Okay. My check. That's that's that. Video game, no. Sandy's coffee, 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 thermoses, yeah, okay. Missing. That's me. I'm missing. Okay, I'm here. Oh. Oh lord. Ugh. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Code. Yep. No. You missed your deadline. No. Damn. I'll be and. Oh, I did it too. Oh, yeah. No, I'm dead. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oof. Hi. Not too good, really. Please don't kill me, sir. Run, run, run. Bitch.
Don't want to die. Figure it out. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Da, 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 da. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Don't mind me, I'm just... You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Boom. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thanks. Bye, Tom. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. What? Me? down this is it watch Dead there. Professional gamer dies in tutorial. Just 
go. Wait, okay, no. Hidey hole. Down, go dead. No, that wasn't going on. I can keep this up forever. Okay. No, no, Ugh. run. Maybe just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. so much. Welcome to Bright Falls. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Oh, I'll talk to this other guy first. Yuppies. Rude. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you 
don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hi, Pat. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. Hell, Jen can smoke fish, cow. Yeehaw. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got him. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, a bumble. Oh, what? No, Barry, we're fine. You like some fresh seafood? There's some right there. We're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Wish we all had a Barry in our lives. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I'm here. Sick. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Sync by Microsoft. Just a little bit of uh, Alan, branding thank there. You for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Odeer Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, right. Time to coffee. So much Just for don't blame me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Same. Yeah, that makes two of us. Three of us. You like me some black coffee. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Hey, Bumble. Bumble, do you want to see the uh, the two own? two best characters in any any sure game ever? I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce you to my two favorite characters ever. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number Coconut. six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Oh, this this is gonna be me when I'm old. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. It does sleep. that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Yes. That's okay. my favorite tune. Coconut. Shut your mouth, you demented has-been. Mm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. 
Yeah, badass drinking black coffee, singing this about coconuts, with an eye patch. Hanging out with my brother, who's actually Willie Nelson. So, 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 creep, creepy fan, creepy fan, creepy fan, creepy fan. Creepy fan. Just. Imagine I get demonetized because of the coconut song. You okay there? I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as worse. soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Uber Eaker fans listen. always did. Uh. Oh, you'll find out. You'll find out. Let's go find out what's worse. Because, hey. This entire game wouldn't exist if I didn't walk down here. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> Creeps me out, she does. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Okay. Oh. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? Splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than it's boom. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time gone. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. I'm not. I'm Tom, apparently. I'm now Tom. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay, let's go. Bye, Mr. Wake. Oh, look at that timing. See that the car pulled up just as I... Yeah, sorry, Tom. I am now you. Keys. Alice was at... Mission accomplished. The key... And the directions. My hero. Kira Cola. I'm By Kira Cola, I mean Kiro. Wet, wet bread. Hey, wait. Look. Mrs. Wake! Your, your keys! That diner was a Pasture really check? Nice. I have pasture. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, Alice, calm home. down. Okay. Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in the sand. There's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, How I How dare you, Alice? Writer, care about my career. A long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Stars 
is winking down at you. Uh, it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Testing. Wait. Yeah. Style. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. It's l look, look at... Oh. There's several places up in Scotland that are like this. And... I absolutely intend to be spending a few days in one around October this year, as long as everything allows. Most most of my closest friends and uh, family live there, there or in Wales. Bird leg cabin. Uh, it lo it looks like a face. It looks like a bird because there's the the eyes, the beak, and then the two sides of the wings. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need light. Oosh. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. I don't like being in. I don't like being in dark places that I've never been before. If I've been there before, like, I can... I don't even need to switch the lights on at, like, midnight. I just walk around and feel my way, but... Hello? If I've never been there before... Those are, are those the, are they, uh, snowshoes, or whatever they're called? Not what I meant to do. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Thomas Zane. One cool thing about this, um, this game series is, like, they expanded it real well. There's a few novels and some, um, some live action shorts and stuff, and they're really good. It's a video. The new fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, well, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist. Damn it, Rose. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. Now to music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. So in each chapter, there's um, there's radios and, like, a song, some, some indie song that just fits the scene, and music's always so cool. There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Okay. To the shed we go. That's a rusty axe. That's not been used in a while. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oof. So look at that soot shooting out of it. That is not that is not good for the environment. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. You hear that echo off the mountains? Just the little details. 
It was a beautiful place. Did it. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Oh, there's a... It's up there. Alice had told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. I wish my I had an island love story. This is gonna sound weird, but like, have you ever been to those like real old houses and stuff for vacation trips and everything? And like, Alice, honey, there's a smell. I can smell it just by looking at this. Let me in. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Surprise. Is it is it cake? Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. I have to. Yeah. I love I love the smell of old wood. It's the same with books, like Something that happens as the, the woody tissues and fibers break down over time. It's just a, a real good smell. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Dad, Alice, you- Everyone- Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so yeah. now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? But... Don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. <sighs> I have trouble with ebooks. Um, a lot of my study over the, the last year and a half have all been like digital because of it, and I just I just can't retain information. It's like that. Weirdly though, Alice? I can. Uh, oh. Alice. Alice. Uh oh. The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. But yeah. Uh, for some reason I can like. I can read and retain information from books off my computer, but if it's like an actual ebook or like on a Kindle, nah, no chance. Alice! Come in, I'm coming. Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right, I'm coming. No! What the hell? Alice! Murder birds. No! Hi, hi, Pug Chimp, 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 Pug. Alice? Alice? Oh no! that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. A 
among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. One of the cool things is, most of the characters in this, they actually have like a human counterpart who their likeness was based on. And Alan's is a Swedish guy called Ilkavili, who is a really cool actor. Um, Nightwish, the band, made a musical movie, and he was in it, and it was just, it was so good. Oof. Wait, wait, no, no, don't fall. Um, this way? Okay, this way. Yeah, Night Nightwish, I, I, I love Nightwish. I'll, um... If it's if it's on Prime and I can do that Prime watch thing, the I'll I'll stream it because it is a really good movie. But it really tugs at the heartstrings. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Damn. My eyes. Uh. Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Departure by Alan Wake The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Huh, awake. His name's Alan Wake. Uh. Okay. Oof. Fortunately for, for streaming purposes, because this isn't my first playthrough, I've got all the manuscripts in like uh, Anybody there? Please. Um got I'm all the manuscripts and stuff that I need so I don't have to spend extra time just seeking them out. So I can just get get on with the actual main game. Blech. If I don't fall off the cliff being dumb. The lights Ooh. Are a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Just everything in this game is so pretty. I'd 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 happily be murdered here. What a what a beautiful way to go. Yeah. Up up. Anybody there? Please, yeah. I've been in an accident. Come on, horror movie 101. Just yell out. Hey, hey, you failed. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh hell, Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non-reservable reservation has required. 
Well then. It's uh, a dead dude. Oof. 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 Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. You already did. I own that flashlight. I literally bought that torch because it's in this game. I'm one of those fans. Except I don't use energizers because I'm poor. During your trying it's the latest thing. Incontestably. One stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels. Yes. Uh, right fall oh. sheriff station. Oh, man. Hello? Hello? Oh, good. Good. Great. Right. This man. Ugh. No, the gate opened on its own. Oh. Oh. There were more of them. My head pounded with the concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting match. Oh. And now I just killed someone. Arrow. Or something. Hey. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming. It felt real enough to make me sick. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Keep that, because that's... It's the breathing. It's the creepy breathing in the background. Du, 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 du. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. So we're going to make it, lads. Are we going to get there? We're going to survive. Is this a survival story? Where am I going? Is that a cat? Uh, oh, fuck. Woo. Yeah, I forgot. This, this, this make me go jump scaredy. Scaredy go, ah. Uh. It is, and it, it gets, it continuously grows in spoop. Watching Masashi playing all the Resident Evil made me want to have a spoopy night. But I I never really 
get into the Resident Evil games. Like I'm, I'm sure they are some fantastic storytelling and stuff. Just personally, I've never really had the drive to play them. Yet, stuff like this, I could play 20 times. And... Huh. No, no, no. What the hell was that? No. No, no, thank you. This game's quite helpful. It has a little bit of um, assisted targeting. You can actually turn on full assist, but... I'm good. Burp. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Okay. 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 This way, this way, yeah, yeah. Also, I, I remember nothing about where the the jumps and the enemies are, so I'm like, I'm poop, pooping a little. It's pooping. Ah! Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Woo! Like that. Uh, <laughs> what is what? Oh, the... Yeah. Yeah. That That's... A thing. Yes, please. More, more pew pew. More, more energy. More cure, cure. What? More cure ourselves, please. Uh. Oh, do I have to go back for it? I don't. Uh. <laughs> Posture. Cola. Slope. Slope. There it is. Oh, I thought it was like a chest of weapons or something. Fly just landed on my on my screen, and that scared me. <laughs> Proceed at own risk. Hi. Oh, good, good. Oh, oh, arrow. Hey. 
I've already eaten. Oh, so earlier I had an entire bar of that Cadbury's white chocolate, a new one, and some extra spicy salsa. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Oh, spit, Sherlock. Oh, oh, thing. Emergency. This is an emergency. I have the fear. was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Gonna be something spooky, isn't there? Oops, in the logging site. Right. That we do. Oh, generator. Ooh. Yep, of course. <laughs> Please. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. <laughs> I got my boomstick. You haul. Got my boomstick. Go, 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 go. Wait, yep. Get that ammo from earlier. So I, f I found out today that uh, I've been waiting for a code to get um, a three-year uh, use license for Cubism Live 2D. Uh, 
because uh, as a student, it's about 250, almost 300 pounds cheaper for the three years. And I've been waiting about two weeks, three weeks for it. And I found out that because I never use my student email, because <laughs> nothing ever gets sent to it, I put the wrong one in. So I got that today, and I'm going to fiddle around and try and figure out how to do rigging. It's a radio. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night, eh? I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Um, Do listeners know what? I'm a night owl. And it's we look at the different like skies. I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. It's ain't clear. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. But here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't he beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find him. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. I love sure. rabbits, too. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but guess he didn't come for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. I'll leave you with some unsettling music on the radio while I quickly BRB. I'm back. So nice, so nice. Not unsettling music at all. <sighs> oh, paint. Oh, paint. Thanks. You're trying to drown me in my own Kiro Cola. Is that what's happening here? You're never going to be able to afford to do the thing if you keep using all my, all these points. It's the breathing that creeps me out. Thank you. Thank you for looking out for me. You know what? I'm 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 interested to see if anyone ever hits hits the thing. Cuz there, there is actually a thing there. It's not just a random number I put up. But Yeah. Uh there. Hi, hi Caleb. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. <laughs> no. No.
Please, please, sir. Please don't kill me. I'm just a humble, humble frog. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I heard, I heard something. I heard it, it was coming. Okay. Nope. Sure, I'm going that way. Okay. How? How go? How to? Uh, this. This. How dare you scare me like that, you friggin' rat! No! Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> let's, uh, let's try this again. Uh, <laughs> I hear ya. Uh. Ah! How could this happen to me? Restore me, restore me. Like, give me my health back. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Scary. Oh no. to see why there's so many checkpoints everywhere. Ugh. Oof. rocks da, da, da. Da, da, da.
I want a hefty meal. Bird. bird. It's a bird. Jeez Louise. Yes, Jeez Louise. Good TV. Oh, time for some TV. The many worlds. Ah, yes, of course. This is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon quantum immortality. Oh. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. What a good TV show. That's my favorite show. Go. Don't like it. I don't like it. Drinking a 
we go. Did I do it? Did I do it? Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll. Oof. Ah, ah. That, that, that was a... Uh... Okay. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Good up, boy. What a good lad. Ah. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Uh-oh. Time travel? The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Uh. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Nordic walking. Incontestably proven health benefits. All right, have a good sleep. Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. Bumble bye. Sixty eight annual Deer Fest, September fifteenth to eighteenth. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, and surprise competitions. Live music. For the children, Bucktooth Charlie on the afternoon, memory the mystic amazing Phasmagoria on the evening. Don't miss out the legendary Deer Fest parade. <laughs> beer. I need a beer after that. Great ball sheriff station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Uh-oh. No island? Okay. 
Listen, we'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. I think I'll do one episode of stream, maybe. So with that, I will call it just a, a nice little comfy spooky stream today. Thanks for coming, and I'll catch you guys later. I can out how to end the stream this game that refuses to tab. Oh, there we go.